he's the You got late. I have nothing. <laughs> Should put him. <laughs> une espèce de jeu.
doit les pousser. Michel, what was that? Going after him. Listen, what I'll do. Godspeed, citizen. Par ici, par ici. Il devrait manquer 
It seems some royalist fanatics called Les Actes des Apôtres are on a book burning spree. Many rare manuscripts are in danger. Meet my contact at Place Dauphin and save what you can. We'll find them a good home here. Agriculturalists, take note. Oh, shit. I bet. 
Come, we have a mission. Join us, brother. Thank God you're here. They burned most of Monsieur Duchamp's library already. Please save what you can. Citoyens, ne vous montrez pas si familier.
Sorry, you on the Ah, 
Ah, Celestine, there you are. This will do nice. I wonder if I might ask a favor. Oh. Certainly, monsieur. I'd like you to follow Monsieur Grissier when he leaves for the evening. See where he goes. Who he... That well's been disused for years. It'll be nice to have fresh water again. Monsieur? The man is an enigma, and I do not care to have secrets kept from me in my own house. Will you do this for me? Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispard? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you suck in the council, I'll give you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh, go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. Hello, my friend.
Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world, and here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. It's worse than that winter we spent in Strasbourg. Do you remember? When it snowed for a week straight, and we couldn't leave the house, and all the books in the library were in German. We convinced that cook the house was haunted by some young Frankish prince. And the poor man refused to leave his kitchen without a rosary in one hand and a Bible in the other. I miss those days. The things I'm learning from father's friends are... Well, I wish I could tell you about them. Someday, perhaps. But not now. And not like this. But still... I find myself missing those days. Missing home. Missing you. Next time Father comes to Paris, you must persuade him to bring you along. I remain always your, Elise. Oh, Arno. What have you done? I know we didn't part on the best of terms, but to go running to the Assassins? My father kept you away from them for a reason. Their creed is like wine. Sweet enough at first blush, and in moderation it makes life seem more bearable. But drink too deeply, and you find naught but madness and anarchy. No doubt they've already filled your mind with tea. Paris. Oh, Arno. What have you done? Oh, Arno. Arno and Elise. <laughs>
This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? that some folk don't like people prying into their affairs. Savvy image. Once tyranny invented the cry of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime? When fanaticism born the monstrous union between ignorance and despotism invented in its turn the crime for sacrilege. When it conceived in its delirium the project of avenging God himself, was it not necessary that they offer him blood and bring him down to their level, the monsters who said they were? Yeah, I don't know yet, but the death penalty is necessary, say the powers ago, in fact. Assassins. That seems convenient. That's the thing about assassins. Point them at a Templar conspiracy. And they ask no questions. No right for the kill. Predictable. Alas! How much business and can man endure? The desire to live seeds before time. The most imperious of all the passions that master the heart of man. The most terrible of all punishments for social man. Exactement. Chaque fois, il y a des gens qui ont 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 des
Weasel boys. Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. They better. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon. Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Sire will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right. I shall leave the execution of our work to you good, ladies and gentlemen. For my part, I shall retire to the sanctuary and await the final phase. Will that satisfy you, Captain? I'll see the watch triple. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide. May the Father of Understanding guide. Go on, we'll lock up down here and go for a pint. Spies escaping on my watch.
Watch the exit. The spy will be There's making a, a run for on it. The loose. Seems we have a spy, boys. Watch the exit. The spy will be making a run for it.
Elles sont toutes comme ça. S'il continue, il va se rompre le cou.
Il passe quelque chose là-bas. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. L'odeur des rues doit être moins. La garde going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go. So, I'll explain later. Get her! Cut them off! Kill her! No way past this one. Shall we? Let's... I'll climb up and take a look. Any bright ideas?
where to? Two. Damn it! Another dead end! Can't see a damn thing in here! How the hell do we get out? I must be in here somewhere! Over there! No! Wait! Damn it! That's Claude! Two of them up ahead. You take that one. I'll handle his friend.
remember someone like that. Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Café Théâtre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. I may be a little late. Beaumarchais, playwright, diplomat, and bon vivant. I'm told you can help me. The public censors are repressing new plays, including one of mine. They've paid a critic to give it a bad review. And they're planning to censor the production itself. Could you steal the review before it goes to press and then, um, suppress the censors? <laughs>
People love to read a bad review. This one will sink Beaumarchais for good, and I haven't even seen the play. Et qu'en est-il de la morsure qui vous arrête Alors pourquoi me demande-t-il pas Les deux autres, alors, ils se sont trouvés. A man was crushed to death by a carriage yesterday, and his family is seeking any information about the driver. Any so, the arrest of the so, seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. 
What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de la Serre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de la Serre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lasser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. Francois Germain believed Lafreniere was... Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise? You made me angry, citizen. Elise! down Where are you going? What are you doing? Wait for me! 
a-t-il perdu la raison Where are you going? What was that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Elise. Don't tell me. It's a trap. For the real barrier. It's a trap. Look who it is. Kill <laughs> them! was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau as soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. Do you see them? The windows across the street. Watch out! Thank <laughs> you. 
can't stop us. Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arno. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. Please? Monsieur Mirabeau? Elise? Elise? What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the Council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture.
You saw no one else when you arrived? Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kamar. Doesn't look like it was forced. So the killer was expected? A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Templar poison. Templar pin. It looks damning. Bravo. You figured it out. My cunning plan was to murder the only assassin who doesn't want to see me dead, then stand about waiting to be discovered. Not the only assassin. You're right. I'm sorry. But you know this wasn't my doing. I believe you. The Brotherhood, though. Then let's find the real killer before they get wind of this. Everything all right, my friend. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course, but I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who is willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. 
Well, you had access to Mirabeau. You've disagreed with him publicly on many occasions, and you plainly know how to kill a man. I also have gout so severe I cannot climb stairs some days, and my eyes grow dimmer with every passing week. To say nothing of the dozen or more brother assassins who can vouch for the fact that I've been here since dawn. Forgive me, I didn't mean to imply. No, you meant to accuse, and you did it rather poorly. Now kindly stop wasting the time you've been given and find the true killer. We miss you. Oh no, hello. Well, it makes me happy to see you, Mr. Dennis, did you do that? Thought you might need some help. I think I can handle a lone druggist. <laughs> Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might end. Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! <laughs> Slow down! Wait! Stay back, you animal! I just have a few questions. Get back here. Slow down. Wait. I just have a few questions. Leave me alone! Powder from it.
What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? 